Hey everybody, in this reading we'll be looking at things uh, that didn't come through in my other readings for whatever reason. Um, and these things could be about love, work, friendship, trips, whatever comes up. I'll do a couple of spreads and maybe um, additional clarification or outcome spreads if necessary. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Capricorn, so here's the first uh, lost message. Uh, we have the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have the King of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, then we have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, there is the Sagittarius. We also have Gemini on the table. Well, Capricorn, in case you didn't know, you have options. <laughs> or about to have options. Right, then from what I see, um, the King of Wands is most likely the better option. If you're dealing with just one person, maybe you're not sure whether you should move forward with them or not. That could be one of the options, to be or not to be. Right? Or if you're dealing with two people or multiple people, then the King of Wands is probably a better choice. All right? This spread, this reading screams options. It, it really does. It really does. We have uh, three cards on the table that could be interpreted as cards of uh, having to make a choice, having to choose. Right? The very first card that came out, the Seven of Cups, could interpret it as uh, having options. The Lovers on the bottom of the deck is an option card, is a choice card. And so is the Two of Pentacles right next to the deck, clarifying the Ace of Cups. However, since the King of Wands showed up on its own, Right, I assume it's either one of the options or the person that you're dealing with, if you're dealing with just one person, right? The King of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. Um, this card always comes from somebody who is ready to start a family, ready to get serious. It could be a, even a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The Ace of Cups to the right from it, it could belong to another person, right? But uh, since... One ace is clarifying the king of wands and another ace showed up right next to it. It could still be coming from that same person, from the same king of wands. Right? It's just a way of the universe to say, uh, yes, pay closer attention to this king of wands. Okay? Even though you may be uh, choosing between multiple people. The seven of cups, the first card I came out is clarified by the nine of cups. The nine of cups is a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment and I think that's you in that nine of cups. You're satisfied, you're fulfilled, you're happy, uh, at least about the fact that you are choosing, <laughs> right? Um, it's, uh, the nine of cups could also be a card of a party or an event. In some tarot decks in the Nine of Cups, people are sitting around the table enjoying a meal and uh, celebrating. In some other tarot decks in the Nine of Cups, people are standing around and celebrating. So perhaps uh, you have a couple of invitations to go out on a, to, on a date or to go to some kind of an event, party, gathering, concert, what have you. Or if you're dealing with just one person, uh, that's uh, where this person wants to, wants to invite you to. Alright, so yeah. Um, Let's, uh, let's do an additional spread for this situation. Let's ask, for, I'm going to ask for both, an advice and a potential outcome between you and the skinny ones. All right, let's take a look. So here's that additional uh, spread, Capricorn, for the first uh, situation, for the first spread. We have uh, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Devil, the Page of Cups, clarified by the Six of Swords. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune and uh, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this looks very promising. It, it does. Even though we don't, I don't, I don't see this spread as uh, being like really long term. I do see you going somewhere, <laughs> right? I guess this spread is talking about you going to uh, that event or going somewhere together with that King of Wands, and that in turn uh, will launch this cycle. The cycle will get started. Right, so we start with the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Devil. Um, the Devil is your major arcana card. The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. It's also a card of clarity, right? In the first spread, as we saw, you were not 100% sure. You were not 100% clear. The Ace of Swords is clarity. Perhaps you need to talk about stuff with that uh, King of Wands, because the Ace of Swords could also be like a very straightforward, no BS conversation. Maybe you need to clarify a thing, a thing or two. But in most, in a lot of cases, the Ace of Swords is simply a yes. It's a card of a new beginning, right? Um, the Two of Cups, in, I, I mean, yeah, we do have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It is a card of when two people are on the same page, 
and an agreement and feeling the same way towards one another, right? And uh, in the middle of the Page of Cups clarified by the Six of Swords, the Page of Cups is an invitation or maybe you answering uh, this person and saying, yes, let's go, let's try this, right? The Six of Swords clarifying that is mo probably literally going somewhere. All right, or um, it's a card of moving forward, okay? And then uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the last card I came out, and perhaps another travel card, or uh, like I said earlier, it's the start of a cycle. As a matter of fact, perhaps something about this King of Wands may turn things around for you, right? Because the Wheel of Fortune could be a card of when things turn around, uh, and the Six of Swords could be interpreted as a card of improvement. With the Six of Swords, things usually get better. Okay, so from what I see so far, uh, that King of Wands is a really good candidate. <laughs> you just have to make a decision with that Ace of Swords. All right, Capricorn, so that's what I have for you so far. Uh, but uh, let's take a look at another lost message for you real quick. So here's another uh, lost message for you, Capricorn. We have the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. We have the Star. Clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, and we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have um, Aquarius and Leo on the table. So this spread has something to do with work, business, and finances. And <laughs> um, I don't know who this Queen of Cups is to you. Perhaps you don't know this person just yet, or you you already do. Whatever the case. So this Queen of Cups, uh, their perception of you is uh, you're in the center of attention. You're glowing up. You're popular. You are very successful. All right. Uh, and uh, they want to work with you. Uh, they want to do business with you. They want to collaborate with you. As a matter of fact. They see it maybe even as a wish come true for them. Or you will, uh, getting you on board, working with you, collaborating with you, may uh, grant them some sort of a wish <laughs> in terms of their ambitions, in terms of what they want to accomplish in their, in their work, in their career. All right, so that's, I think, what's happening here. So we start with the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Wands, and I think this is the way this Queen of Cups sees you, Capricorn, or will see you any second now, right? Those two cards are really good cards uh, for a particular person, for you, right? The Nine of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is in the center of attention, somebody who is glowing up, somebody who is independent, somebody who is respected, admired. You know, uh, the Six of Wands clarifying that is a card of success, it's a card of recognition, it's a card of being awarded, rewarded, recognized, right? That's, I think, this person, that's the way they see you, Capricorn. You could be asking yourself, really? Yes, really. <laughs> so the Queen of Cups, uh, the next card over is the person you're dealing with, so it's, it could be a water sign. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. The Three of Pentacles clarifying it, and the Eight of Pentacles further down clarifying the star. Both of those two cards could be interpreted as cards of work, business, and finances. And uh, the Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration, cooperation. All right? And uh, the star that the um, Eight of Pentacles is clarifying could be an Aquarius union, but the star is a card of hope. It's a card of wish come true. Okay, the sun on the bottom of the deck uh, could be a Leo you're dealing with. We're approaching Leo birthday season in a couple of weeks, by the way. A couple of three weeks, maybe. And uh, the sun is also the happiest card in the deck. Perhaps this person is about to become crystal clear that through you, through your expertise, through connecting with you, through working with you, through hiring you, getting on board, or working for you, they... One of their wishes could be granted. It's like this person has a lot of respect and admiration for you, Capricorn, and they want to work with you. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Capricorn, for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing July.